In this episode, we're talking about three different ways to shoot B-roll with your smartphone. The plan is to take one location, one object, in this case a swimming pool, and shoot three different styles of B-roll. First up, news B-roll, or mobile journalism, mojo as it's often called. Let's say you're doing a story on pool safety. Summer's approaching, might be a topic of interest for many people. For this illustration and all the ones you're gonna see here, we used Filmic Pro. Filmic Pro is our favorite go-to app. First thing we do when we get to the location is check the white balance and lock the auto white balance. And then we use our reticles to set the exposure and the focus. In this case, we're using autofocus. We're shooting in 4K 24P, but you could shoot this in any frame rate you want or that your deliverables require. If it's for broadcast, that might be 30 frames per second in the US, or it could be 25 frames per second in Europe. We also chose to shoot in the natural setting versus log or flat, because we didn't want to have to do a lot of color correction on this footage. Other than Filmic Pro, we used the bare bones setup, a tripod and a phone. First shot we get is a wide shot. We typically want to roll 10 seconds and we want to get nat sound with it. For our second shot, we kept the camera in the same spot and then jumped into the tele lens. We'll call this our medium shot. For our third shot, I moved the camera closer, kept it on the tele lens, and we'll call this our close up or our tight shot. So a wide shot, a medium shot, and a tight shot, holding for 10 seconds each with nat sound. Now these are just the essentials. This is pretty straightforward stuff, but this will get the job done. Now for our second style, calling this marketing B-roll, corporate B-roll. Let's say you're doing a promo video for a pool company. They're trying to market their services on Facebook. Say you grab your smartphone and go out and start shooting some video. Now for this marketing piece, we decided to use third-party lenses to give a little bit of extra punch to the image. Get wider shots, longer lens stuff, to be able to get some out of focus elements. These lenses happen to be moment lenses, and so you have to have a case that works with the lens. Very simple to use, take the lens, line up the marks, and twist it onto the case. Now with this first shot, I used a tele lens and an out of focus foreground object to add depth. And for this next shot, I went to the wide lens just to get a nice overview of the pool. And for the next shot, I went back to the tele lens and added more out of focus foreground objects to add depth to the image again, to add production value. Now move the camera back to the end of the pool and using the wide angle lens. The idea here being just to vary your shots and make them creative and make them more interesting and another tight shot with the bush, the foreground object, out of focus. One thing nice about this Manfrotto tripod is it telescopes, and the top level of the tripod can actually come out and go to a 90 degree angle. Then you can take your camera and aim it right down at the ground or do a high angle shot looking at something below it. So that's what I did here to get this shot of the fountain. But I also used one more technique as I move in on the fountain. You can make your tripod into a dolly slash jib by shortening one of the legs and using the other two legs and moving it back and forth. It actually works surprisingly well. OK, 
Okay, one more style here I'm calling cinematic, film style if you will. You might see this in a travel film, in a vlog, maybe a wedding video, even a commercial. A lot of different ways you can use it. So the one thing you might have noticed with that last footage was it was all slow motion. So the first thing I did was set up the camera to shoot 120 frames per second. I find 120 frames per second looks the best for this kind of stuff. 240 frames is too slow, 60 is not slow enough. And just in case you missed what I did, here's a screen capture of the same thing. I'm setting the camera up to 1080 HD, 120 frames per second. And still using Filmic Pro of course for the high bit rate and all the manual control. Everything I shot here was handheld, in some cases holding the tripod, but nonetheless handheld, no gimbal, that kind of thing. When you're shooting slow motion, it takes out all the bumps. It looks very steady. Now in post-production, I of course added the letterbox and did some extra color grading to make it have a little more punch. It wasn't shot widescreen, it was shot just traditional 16 by nine. And here I just did an underslung rig with the tripod. Filmic Pro will auto flip the image when you turn the camera upside down, so it makes it really easy. And again, shooting slow motion, the shots are surprisingly steady. And for that transition, I just walked towards that rock and then I panned into the water from a dark area and I combined the two shots. It's a surprisingly simple technique that can give really good results. Moving the camera just adds production value. Makes the footage seem much bigger. And another high angle shot with my tripod looking down into the water with just a little bit of subtle movement here. Very subtle movement, but it looks good with the slow motion. So to recap, when you shoot news b-roll, try to get a wide shot, a medium shot, and a tight shot. And shoot in that sound, and hold the shots for about 10 seconds. You wanna give your editor footage to work with. And if it's for broadcast, choose the appropriate frame rate, 30 frames per second or 25, typically speaking. For marketing B-roll, use foreground objects to create depth and vary up the shots to make it visually interesting. Also try subtle camera movement to add production value. And for cinematic B-roll, shoot slow motion. 120 frames per second is what I like, but whatever you wanna try. 
and move the camera handheld or you can try a gimbal but handheld when you're shooting slow-mo works move past objects to emphasize the tracking or the dolly motion and also to use it for transitions as is often said in filmmaking there really are no rules so these are really just suggestions of course keep in mind you can mix and match these techniques to work in any of these styles for example, this marketing B-roll could just as easily be news B-roll. And on the flip side, the news footage could just as easily be the marketing footage. And a few other tips to consider. Shoot in the morning or the evening. Don't shoot in the middle of the day. You want to shoot when the sun is the best. Or if it's cloudy, you can shoot anytime. Clouds provide a nice soft light. I shot with a photo tripod that really doesn't have the ability to pan or tilt. Often you would have a traditional video tripod. So incorporate pans or tilts into your B-roll as well. And lastly, always shoot for the edit. Think about the shots you need to tell your story. Don't just shoot stuff that's pretty. Pretty is great, but it needs to help tell the story. And importantly, it needs to be able to edit together. That's one of the reasons I mentioned the wide, medium, and tight shots. Your editor will thank you. Shooting this swimming pool in three different styles was a nice way to illustrate the concept of shooting B-roll. But in a real world situation, you would have more things there like people or products, and you would get B-roll of those things as well. Whatever helps tell your story. Ultimately though, it can all be shot with a smartphone. You don't need super expensive gear to get really nice results. So grab your smartphone and go shoot some B-roll. And hopefully, using a few of these tips and techniques, your footage will look great. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe so you won't miss any of our future content. And we will see you guys in the next one.